everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be the answers to questions that you guys gave me on my instagram so a couple days ago i asked all of my instagram followers to ask me questions about my real estate journey and i have a list of questions that i compiled and i'm going to answer them for you guys today so hopefully you are one of the ones that i've chosen to answer so let's go ahead and get started so the first question is, what is your portfolio? What's your story on your first property? So currently right now in my portfolio, I have a townhome, a few single family homes, a duplex, and I am trying to sell my condo right now for um, a quadplex. So um, I have a variety of different types of units in my portfolio. Uh, all residential right now. I have not gotten into commercial real estate as of yet. And what is the story on my first property? Um, so crazy enough, I did not want to get into real estate. I didn't think that I could afford it. I did not want the responsibility. And I basically made the decision on getting two jobs, working really hard, saving my money, um, ended up having some money that I was just sitting on and I wanted to invest it. I was tired of working every single day a nine to five, so I didn't really have a plan. I just kind of called my realtor and I said, you know, I wanna buy my home, my first home. So that was really what it was intended to be, was me just purchasing a townhome for myself. And I was tired of renting, so I wanted to make sure that the money that I was spending on a monthly basis was actually going to an asset that was mine. So that's what I did. My first property was was for me. Um, I purchased a condo or a townhome. Um, and then two years later, I ended up purchasing a duplex. And it's just grown from there, so that's... That was the start. How do you not lose money in flipping? Um, so I don't really know. I don't flip. Um, a lot of my purchases are for long-term rentals. So the reason why I got into real estate was because I wanted to make sure I was setting myself up for retirement. And my goal was to try and retire within five, max 10 years. Um, and with doing that, I thought that if I could get into real estate, I could have uh, my tenants paying the mortgage. So by the time the 30 year mortgage was paid, then the mortgage would be free and clear and I could just live off of the rentals. So I don't flip. Um, most of my purchases are long-term rentals. Where did I find my handyman or contractor? So I found my contractor art through my realtor they're actually cousins and it's more so just word of mouth um, it's very hard to trust people these days so i i mean they're like family at this point so they're just friends of family um and also uh, papa mento is a general contractor so he's done a lot of my work as well and if you guys know papa mento he um is like my second dad so um, I was very fortunate enough to have people around me that are general contractors who can help me assist. Uh, next question is, how do I choose tenants? Um, have I gone through an eviction process? Um, so I actually uh, contract my realtor um, who provides the service of finding my tenants for me. Um, I pay him a fee to find tenants that meet criteria. So depending on you know background checks um credit income uh, there are certain guidelines that i have in place that um, have to be met before i will consider a tenant so um, i do background checks we do credit checks um, we do income verification so there's many things that go into choosing the right tenant um, and I have not gone through an eviction process. I uh, just want to make sure that you have all your ducks in order if you do have to go through that. But um, I hear it's not a fun process. So I hope I never have to go through that. Um, fear of finding someone to complete your job. So yes, I've always had that fear of trying to find a contractor that I can trust. But again, I have been uh, fortunate enough to 
have people around me who I trust and who are already in the business. So um, they're like friends of family. So again, Papa Mento is a general contractor that I use to do a lot of the work as well if it was something that I couldn't do uh, myself. How do I handle financing for investment property? Uh, so I do have a lender that I go through for the majority of my um, financing. Uh, the first thing that you have to do is make sure that you can provide all your documentation and get pre-qualified. And once you're pre-qualified, then you know what your purchasing power is and you can go out into the market and try and find a home. Um, but I know um, it can be kind of daunting at the moment, but um, you know, the interest rate is high right now, but it's not impossible to still buy property. It's still competitive in my opinion. Not as competitive as it was the last two years, but it's still pretty competitive. Um, but yeah, uh, financing, I just have one main lender that I go to. Uh, they have all of my financials and then I just let them know what I wanna purchase. And they tell me what my purchasing power is, you know, with the current rate and income and everything. Uh, what advice would you give someone starting um, investing and how did you start? What was your first year like? Um, the advice that I would give is to, you know, get your credit together, um, make sure you have stable income, make sure you are pre-qualified so you know what your purchasing power is, and then go out there and try and find a property. You want to make some, you want to buy something that makes sense, uh, something that's not going to put you in financial harm. Um, I talked to my financial planner or advisor, and he said that I am risky like i like to take risks but i'm also conservative so one thing that i do is um, when i'm buying property yes i do have tenants that are going to live in the property but just in case anything happens i do want to make sure that i can cover the mortgage just in case so if i'm buying these properties i do make sure that let's just say all my tenants stop paying i can make the payment um, the worst thing or the thing that you the worst thing that you don't want to happen is you have tenants in these properties they stop paying the mortgage and then you're left to pay the mortgage and can't and then lose the property that's the last thing that you want to happen so I do take risks they're very calculated risks but um, there has to have some type of like cushion for me to want to be able to take it um, I try and think of all the what-ifs which is probably impossible. You can't really, you know, plan for all the what ifs, but I do like to have, you know, um, money in a savings account just in case anything was to happen with the property, any type of um, repairs that need to be done. You always just wanna have a safe net. The last thing that you wanna do is lose the property. Um, so what was my first year like? My first year was tough. Um, I didn't know what to expect. So when I purchased the property, um, I went in and I rehabbed it myself and like I said when you start pulling back the 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 walls you you find out a lot of other things that you didn't know was there so you want to make sure that you have a savings account that you are able to do a lot of these renovations because you want to make sure that your property is safe so it was a lot of money up front my first year but um, you know we're not thinking short term we're thinking long term so in the end it will all pay off uh, with the market highs and the cost being high, what is the best way to invest? Personally, um, I know the market is really um, high right now. Cost of homes are high and the interest rate is very high, which is making it uncomfortable for people to buy. Um, I would say, you know, if you can still get into the real estate market, you want to make sure you have the asset. You don't want to wait longer because the real estate is only going to really appreciate. Um, we don't know what's going to happen with the market. We don't know what's going to happen with the interest rate. So if I could afford it, I would do it. That would be the advice that I would give you. Even though the interest rate is high, it's it's not a bad time to buy. If you can do it, I would still do it. Um, how to become a commercial property owner without money. Pros and cons. So a lot of my properties are in residential. They're not in commercial. I haven't really gotten into the commercial aspect yet. Um, I do know about REITs. Um, those are real estate investment 
uh, trust accounts. Um, I don't know a lot about them, but I know it's something that I want to look into and, you know, learn about. Um, a couple of things that I do know is, you know, the pros of the REITs is it's liquid. Um, you can buy and sell, uh, you know, you don't have to like wait uh, long periods of time. Um, you don't need a lot of money to invest in REITs and you don't have to so, you know, you don't have to borrow a lot of money. Also, you don't have to do any of the work because it's not a property that you're actually managing. And um, some of the cons with REITs is you don't have any control. So you don't have a control of the price. You don't have a um, control over what the company is doing, um, how they invest and how they manage it. So pros and cons to everything. Uh, but it is something that I do want to get involved in in the next future, uh, maybe in the next year. What is the minimum that you need to buy a house? Should you pay in cash or mortgage? Uh, so the minimum that you can buy a house is 3% um, if you're doing an FHA loan. Uh, a conventional loan is usually 5%. And would I pay in cash or mortgage? So because I'm doing long-term investments, I would do the mortgage. I don't want to pay in cash because I don't want to give all my, you know, purchasing power or my cash up just because some of the homes that I'm purchasing need to be rehabbed. So I want to be able to have liquid cash to be able to do those things. Um, like I said, the tenant is paying the mortgage. So that's not coming out of my pocket. The renovations and repairs would be coming out of my pocket, but yeah, I don't want to give up a lot of my cash when I can have a mortgage. Uh, would I be open to having a mentee? Um, at the moment, I wo won't. Um, I have so much going on right now, but maybe in the near future, I would be open to it. Um, I am doing these videos to give you the information that you guys need. I will do a lot more Q&As if you have any questions. I will share my journey in what I'm doing. Uh, but at the moment, uh, I'm, I'm not doing any mentorships. Um, how did you build a team of people to help you rehab? What, what are the roles that you have on your team? Uh, so like I said, I, I am the team. Um, I don't have a team that does the renovations. I learned how to do them myself. I do have my contractor art that you see in a lot of my videos. He helps me with majority of my projects. And then if they are uh, renovations that I can't do or don't have a lot of time to do, then I will have um, Papa Mento do them. Um, so he's done a lot of like the intensive work of like trying to re rewire a house that's not something that i'm interested in doing or really know how to do um other than that i pretty much do all of my renovations um, i can install new drywall i can install new fixtures if there's a busted pipe i can repair that um, i can lay flooring i can paint i can install cabinetry countertops uh, you name it, I can pretty much do. So I do a lot of my renovations by myself um, along with my contractor art. So we're just like a, a duo and we do all our, our projects together. Um, but that's it. So I hope this was uh, useful for you guys. Uh, if you have any other questions, please let me know. Please follow me on Instagram. That's when I usually do videos asking for questions um, so I can do Q&As like this. Uh, but I hope this is giving you inspiration. I hope this is giving you useful information as well. Um, but you are learning from me and all my mistakes. So again, um, please subscribe to my channel. I hope all these videos are very useful for you guys. But I will catch you guys in my next video. So take care, guys.